Bugsy. You good? Eh, define. 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 Define good. Because I just saw that trailer, and I'm like, Ugh! It's awesome. Oh, no. We were kids. We always wanted a Sonic movie. And people would always say, Oh, go oh, boys. It would never be done. It could never happen. You know, because, like, then you'd have to explain Sonic, and then you'd have to explain Tails, and... But it happened. And I'm just over... I'm overwhelmed, but in a good way. <laughs> you would be. I am too, though, because they got Shadow looking cool, man. Sorry, they're never going to put Scourge in, though. I made peace with that a long time ago. Hey, but when they do work something out and they actually do put them in, then my brain is not going to be able to take take anything I just get I'm just gonna scream the next like if they do if they do that for another Sonic movie and the trailer just shows me Scourge and all these motherfuckers and all these motherfuckers start going like oh he's a recon I'm going motherfucker Ian made that y'all motherfuckers worship the ground he walks upon <laughs> so don't act like don't act like it's all Kim Henders it's Ian too they both suck by the way they, you know, Ian Flynn and Kim Benders to me, they both suck. Both did good things, but nowadays they kind of just stink. And I'm talking like, I'm talking like you're on, you're in the backyard, and you, you catch a whiff, you catch, you catch a whiff of like five gallons of bug shit. You don't want to, you don't want to know. You don't want to know what our, you don't want to know what our childhoods were like. <laughs> Anyways, bugs. So, hey, you mind the, uh, yeah. Since you know, since we're talking and all. Don't worry, don't worry. I got us covered. Give me a minute. So, dude, just the fact that like. I just heard the the theatrical version of Live and Learn, and I know that look, and I know that moron Larry, is probably looking at my looking at my stuff, going, hmm. Eh, he probably just gonna cry. he's probably gonna just cry about it. People like him usually do. Do they don't got nothing else going on in their lives? Like <laughs> being. Being hated is the only thing that gives this man purpose. Which I admit is kind of sad when you think about it. Hmm. Let me just, let me just. Really? You going with, you going with that asset? Yep. I mean, it looks smug, folks. But. Holy fuck am I, holy fuck am I, is my mind blown. Holy fuck that they didn't think this would happen. Holy fuck Gerald's alive in this universe. The fuck, I just, the, the fuck, the fuck, the actual fuck. Like, guys, I can't, like, I could go frame by frame and tell you tell you what this movie is about. I can go frame by frame by frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. But I want you to see it for yourselves. And I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the OG Sonic fans. I ain't talking about just modern. I'm not talking about just classic Sonic fans. I am talking about, I'm talking about the OG Sonic fans. The Sonic fans that have been there from the beginning. The Sonic fans who don't care about classic and modern because they all see it as Sonic as I do. I'm talking about those OG Sonic fans that still keep playing and still enjoy and still enjoy some Sonic and you know sometimes enjoys the enjoys the occasional good discussion of it. That's what I'm talking about. Because folks, and for all the fans that grew up with Sonic Adventure, 
Boys, we eating good tonight. We gonna be eating good pretty soon. I'm just saying, this is what we've all wanted. Okay, maybe not exactly what we wanted, but the, but basically the blueprints of what we wanted. Because I know we all have different ways we'd come about making a Sonic movie. But it please, let's just say, let's just say I'm pleased. You know, Bugsy, you could probably move, you know, get your picture kind of lower. Oh, yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> That's on me. <sighs> Let me move this over here. You good? Yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a bit. All right. So, Bugsy, got anything else you need to say? We, uh... We doing a short one today? Yeah, because I'm gonna, because after this I'm gonna go play some Spatel if you keep coming. Mm -hmm. But um, what Bugsy is trying to say, he's he's overjoyed. I'm overjoyed. Megalo Megalo is losing his goddamn mind right now. Freaking over, uh, the moment because you know uh, the Millman Institute has like cubicles and. Uh, so, uh, over, he sees the trailer, all, all the other agents hear is, ah! I can't really do, I can't do it justice, but he was screaming. And then we all ran to the cubicle, because we all saw the trailer, and he was like, he just pointed to the trailer, and we, he was like, ah! And, was, and we were like, ah! And, we, and he was like, ah! And it was just like a, it was just like a big... It was a big Kuro family moment right there. <laughs> I think I heard one of their agents mutter, uh, fuck, I don't like working here on Tuesday. <laughs> why do you say you don't like working here on Tuesday? Because it always pops off on Tuesday. <laughs> it ain't my fault, though. I mean, it's a, okay, but this was a positive something happening, not a negative something happening. True. True. True, true, true. See, but like, but Keanu Reeves is fucking, as fucking Shadow. It's fucking awesome. I mean, we all like Kirk Thornton. Bugsy, you got this, Sonic. <laughs> I do, I do like Kirk Thornton, but. Eh, Keanu Reeves is good. He's just basically using his John Wick voice. You know that, right? I, it's John Wick voice. I thought he was just using his regular voice. Nah, nah, there's a little bit of John Wick in there. You know, it'd be kind of funny if he went, like, uh, if he went, if he went, like, uh, if he went, like, Ted on us on Bill and Ted. <laughs> Shadow sounding like Ted. No, no, that'd be stupid. That'd be stupid. That'd be funny for like a minute. No, 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 no. What if, what if like, okay, what if, what if Shadow bells out and he starts talking like Ted? That'd be funny. But that'd be a joke that only we would get. I don't think the general audience would understand that. Ah, uh, yeah. You know they're not going to put Rouge in the movie, right? Probably, yeah, they, yeah, people are too, too. People are afraid of her Gahana Gahooks, her Gungalungus. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta freaking, I gotta freaking use the PG word, word saying, uh, boobies, because, you know, YouTube and all that. <sighs> I remember. Bugsy, Bugsy. I remember you were like, you were like, cowards, give us Rouge, god damn it, give us Rouge, you were just shaking, you were shaking your fist at the sky, <laughs> like you were about to, like you were about to do some horrible, horrendous shit, <laughs> well, y'all got to do some horrible, horrendous shit, but not right now, ugh. Okay, can we can we talk about how uh, Gerald Robotnik is fucking alive? 
I guess in this universe, Gun didn't sh- Gun didn't shoot him down. I guess they were like, "Hey, we ki- we killed your granddaughter. We killed your granddaughter, and that's enough." Or maybe in this universe, Gun never shot Maria. It's actually something else that happened. That's why Gerald's alive because this gun doesn't kill. So they probably were like, you know what? And they're not really after Sonic at all in this, so that's kind of interesting. They're not. They kind. They're taking away the stuff from Sonic Adventure and like doing their own thing. I kind of like that. You know, people are probably gonna be like, no, no, this isn't Sonic. This isn't Sonic. I'm gonna be like. It's a different Sonic. Okay, we got so many. Like, here's here's my here's my beef with a lot of people that don't like the movie Sonic. Y'all do know that Sonic has so many iterations; it don't even matter anymore. That's the fact why everybody's been pushing for a Sonic verse because we have so many iterations of Sonic. It only makes sense for we you know us having our own into into a multiverse of Sonic, into into the Sonic verse with Sonic. We gotta get that with Mesh. But that's what people wanted Sonic Prime to be. This big celebration of, like, Sonic's history. And Sonic Villains is going to be that when it comes out. You know, I hate it when, like, Sonic fans get so impatient when it comes to, like, fan stuff. When it comes to, like, fan stuff, like, movies and shit. Like, they're like, if it comes out, I'm like, y'all motherfuckers never worked at it. A actual kind of project in your life that takes long because you gotta work on it. And y'all don't know nothing about y'all don't know nothing about any of this stuff. Y'all consume y'all know, y'all know what it feels like to be making something. Hey, isn't bounded out? Isn't bounded out right now? Oh shit! Yes, it is. We should probably go check that out. Catch this. What time is it now? It's like by the time of this recording, it's two thirty-seven. Oh shit! We need to. Okay, bro. We need to book it to. We need to book it to the theater. To the to to the multiverse theater. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Um, got anything else to say? That was fucking awesome. Uh. Eggman and Stone are kind of... Eggman and Stone are in a weird, weird relationship. But Stone's like... Stone's like, where was the doctor I married? Because they, they, they have that kind of energy. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so what are you saying? Stone's the dis... Like the... Um, disgruntled uh, spouse... I mean, it looks like it. It looks like, it looks like. God damn, Eggman! You, had, it's a goddamn robotic. You had such fire. Where did that go? Where did it go? <laughs> oh my God! You, you actually do have a point. I just do because that's what he was looking like. All right, how about me and you go get the guys together? Uh, let's, uh, let me, let me just, uh, let's turn off the portraits for a minute. Um, Bugsy, uh, it's going to be a minute before I get to the, before I get to the theater so we can watch Bounded. Uh, I, uh, need to change my pants. Oh, dude. The trailer was that awesome? Yeah. God damn. All right, all right. We'll wait until you change your pants, man. We can make the th- we can make the three o'clock. What? Three thirty. Three thirty is better. So you got more time to change your pants. It's only gonna take me like a minute. Yeah, but you know you might want to clean, too. You know you don't want to be reeking of uh, wizard juice. Wizard juice. That's a good one. You guys are assholes. Maybe. But we don't want we don't want you to be coming to the theater with us and then you stinking of, you stinking of wizard juice if you know what if you know what we're talking about. 
Yeah, it's bad enough we walk we walk in we walk into your home, you're ready to eat us, and I all I smell is just wizard juice. No, nah, no. Nah. You go into you go into Ida and Oprah's bedroom. That's all you fucking smell. It's like everywhere. I bet you if I put a black light up, everything is white. Everything is white. Just, ugh. You know, guys, that's uncalled for. That is uncalled for. You kind of are correct. You put a black light up and you saw it. <laughs> okay, okay, enough, enough of the usual, enough of the usual gags and gaffes. We'll see, we'll see you at the theater in a minute to go watch Founded. All right, I'll be back. I need to go change my pants and stop reeking wizard juice, as you guys keep saying it. You know, I think I like it better than what we were actually gonna, what we actually can say that it is. I think it's funnier. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. You know, me too. Mechalo, why are you? Why are you even? Why are you even entertaining what Yonk and Bugsy are saying? I'm just saying it's funny. I hate all of you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I hate all of you. <laughs> but you don't. I don't. But you guys are asses.